Buckle up, folks, because we may have just gotten some out-of-this-world news. According to a draft research report released by the Pentagon's AARO, All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, aliens may be visiting our solar system and releasing smaller probes. Yes, you read that right, aliens. Authored by Sean Kirkpatrick, the director of the AARO, and Abraham Loeb, the chairman of Harvard University's astronomy department, this report explores the physical constraints of unidentified aerial phenomena. And let me tell you, it's mind-blowing. Back in 2005, Congress tasked NASA with finding 90% of all objects near Earth that are larger than 140 meters, which resulted in the creation of Pan-STARRS telescopes. So while the idea of aliens and their probes may seem like something out of a sci-fi movie, the report suggests that it's not entirely impossible. Now, before you start calling for Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum, it's worth noting that the AARO was established in 2022 and is responsible for tracking objects in the sky, underwater, and in space, including objects that have the ability to move from one domain to the next, ushering in a new era of discovery and exploration. But what they've recently uncovered has the potential to change everything we know about the universe. According to a recent report, the AARO may have stumbled upon something truly incredible, an object that can move from one domain to the next. Yes, you heard that correctly, an object that can transition between the skies, underwater, and even space. And while the possibility of such a phenomenon existing is already mind-blowing, the report suggests that it could potentially be an alien spacecraft. But wait, it gets even more fascinating. The report also highlights the existence of Oumuamua, an interstellar object that was detected by the Pan-STARRS telescopes in 2017. This object was unlike anything scientists had seen before. It was cigar-shaped, appeared flat, and was propelled away from the sun without showing a cometary tail. All of these factors led scientists to believe that Oumuamua was artificial. Now, the report suggests that an artificial interstellar object currently stationed in our solar system could potentially be the parent craft responsible for the release of many small probes during its close passage to Earth. These probes, aptly named dandelion seeds, could be separated from the parent craft by the tidal gravitational force of the Sun or by maneuvering capability. The implications of this are truly staggering. These tiny probes could reach Earth or other solar system planets for exploration, all while going unnoticed by astronomers because they do not reflect enough sunlight for existing survey telescopes to notice them. Just think about it. These mini probes could be all around us, waiting to be discovered. And with proper design, they could unlock the secrets of the universe in ways we've never imagined. The AARO has truly opened up a new world of possibilities, and who knows what other discoveries await us in the vast expanse of space. Now, imagine for a moment that we had the incredible opportunity to communicate with beings from another world. What would they look like? What kind of technology would they possess? What kind of language would they speak? The possibilities are endless and fascinating to consider. Scientific literature has explored this possibility and proposed various models of how such interactions could play out. The predictions range from beneficial, where advanced extraterrestrial civilizations could help advance human civilization, to potentially catastrophic, where imperial powers could try to conquer and subjugate humanity. But the implications of such a discovery largely depend on several factors, such as the level of aggressiveness and ethics of the extraterrestrial civilization, as well as how much humans and extraterrestrial biologies have in common. These factors could govern the extent and type of dialogue that could take place, as well as the long-term implications of contact. The possibility of contact with extraterrestrial civilizations is a fascinating topic with implications that extend far beyond just the scientific and technological realms. It could also have significant political and social implications, and it's a topic that is sure to capture the imagination of people for years to come. 
friendly civilizations. What if the civilizations out there were waiting to collaborate with humankind? This possibility is nothing short of captivating. Some experts believe that an advanced civilization might share knowledge on a physical theory of everything, zero-point energy or faster-than-light travel. Others argue that a cooperative civilization would be more likely to aid humanity, given their longer lifespan compared to aggressive ones. They might intervene to avert catastrophe, advise and act with consent, or even take effective corrective action to help us advance to the next stage of civilization. But would they focus on science and technology, or ethics and morality, to ensure we don't destroy ourselves with technology we're not ready to use? While the prospect of friendly extraterrestrial civilization is thrilling, it also raises concerns about unintended consequences. Even if they wish to help us, humans might suffer from a loss of identity and confidence due to the technological and cultural prowess of these advanced beings. And some suggest that a friendly civilization may even avoid contact with us altogether to ensure we can develop naturally at our own pace. Hostile Civilizations while science fiction movies often show humans heroically defeating alien invasions, scientists take a more sobering view. In fact, they argue that any civilization with the power to travel through space and reach Earth would likely have the power to destroy us with minimal effort. We're talking about destroying entire cities, bombarding planets with deadly radiation, and even wiping out entire planetary systems. But don't worry, not all extraterrestrial life forms are hostile. In fact, some may even be policing others to keep the peace. And just like on Earth, aggressive and belligerent nations tend to have short lifespans. So, if there are any aggressive extraterrestrial civilizations out there, they may not last long enough to be a threat to us. Plus, with so many natural resources available in space, there may be little need for violence. But what about the idea that any civilization with the technology to travel through space must have transcended war and aggression? While Carl Sagan believed this to be true, astronomer Seth Shostak disagrees. He argues that the finite resources in the galaxy would inevitably lead to aggression in any intelligent species. What about the chance of being enslaved or colonized? According to theorists, highly advanced civilizations would likely have already found ways to solve the problems of labor and resources, making the enslavement of other species unnecessary. And let's not forget about the differences in biochemistry that could make humans an unsuitable food source for extraterrestrial beings. And what about the risk of transmitting intentional signals to aliens? While some have raised concerns about this leading to an alien invasion, Douglas Vacock argues that any civilization capable of traveling between the stars could already pick up our accidental radio and TV leakage, so we might as well go ahead and transmit intentional signals. Even politicians have weighed in on the subject. Ronald Reagan once said, I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. In conclusion, the possibility of extraterrestrial life and the implications of contact with them are fascinating and thought-provoking topics that capture the imagination of people worldwide. Whether they are friendly or hostile, the discovery of extraterrestrial civilizations would undoubtedly revolutionize our understanding of the universe and our place within it. As we continue to explore the cosmos, let us keep an open mind and continue to search for signs of life beyond our planet. Who knows what discoveries await us in the vast expanse of space? What are your thoughts on the possibility of contact with extraterrestrial civilizations? Do you believe that friendly or hostile civilizations are more likely to make contact with us? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content about science and the universe. Thanks for watching.